Today we're going to be installing some new extended wheel studs. Uh, these are ARP for uh, actually for Evo. You can see the part number there. Um, I'm running a small spacer on my truck, and uh, the the lug nuts actually started backing off after a while. So I'm going to be using uh, these and some new lug nuts, some open-ended lug nuts to uh, stop that from happening. <clears throat> so let me show you guys how I did it. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take this cap off, also take the spacer off. <clears throat> and once you get that cap off, you're going to take this nut off that holds this other nut in place. I'm just going to have to take off this cutter pin here. And this nut here <clears throat> is a 30 millimeter. It's not going to be on that tight, but let's go ahead and take it off. And then once that's off, we're going to go ahead and take the hub off. Those, uh, this is actually bolted on with a 14 millimeter bolt. And you just slide the hub off. The rotor will be free floating after that, so it'll push down on the on the hub. But watch out for the wheel bearing. Just make sure you look at the orientation so you know how to put it back in. All right, so once you get the hub off, you're just going to want to hit these out. You can use a sledgehammer. If you're going to want to reuse these, you might want to put a nut on the end of them so you don't damage the threads, but I'm not going to reuse them. So once that's all done, uh, you just go ahead and slide in the new uh, lug studs. So these are pressed in, so I'll show you guys how I uh, actually do that when I put it back together. So now we're just going to put it all back together. Make sure you line up the, the holes where you bolt in the, the hub to the loader. Remember when you put in the new, when you put the bolts back in, just put a little bit of blue Loctite on the bolts. Okay. 
don't stop put it in all the way. Just go in a star pattern. You go ahead and put the wheel bearing back in. And this washer, washer has a little notch in it, so there's a notch in the spindle. You go ahead and just line that up with that. Then put the 30 millimeter bolt uh, nut back on. When you tighten this, don't tighten it super tight because uh, it'll stop the assembly from spinning. So just put it on snugly. And once all that, that's all done, you're going to want to press these in the rest of the way. So what I'm going to do is going to put a bunch of washers on here and then uh, tighten a lug nut on there. And then I'll show you guys how that happens. Just have some washers on here and a lug nut. And then I'm just going to impact this back on. And uh, that should pull the, the lug out and press it in. And then that's pressed in. So there we go. We're all done. I've got the wheel studs back, the wheels back on. Torqued them all down, and we're ready to go. Overall, it's a really easy install. No modifications needed. They press right in. It's uh, super quick. So if you guys uh, want to get this mod done, it's real easy. They're kind of pricey. They're about forty bucks a set, but uh. Yeah, they're worth it. The rears are a different story, so I'll be making another video for those. But uh, I'll post that up whenever it's done. Thanks for watching, guys.